Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're in Carlisle at the Carlisle Events, the Chrysler Nationals. I'm at Darren. Darren, what's your last name? Stanky. Darren Stanky. And get a little closer to me. So, Darren, what did you bring here today? Well, today I brought a 1969 and a half six pack Super B. Uh, the unique thing about this car is the top, though. It is optioned out with the V1H option, the floral top. The uh, only ahead. one we only one we know of at the A12 Forum, so it's rare, and that's that's what I brought. One of one. Let's grab the camera and let's show the featured attraction. So come on alongside me. Come on right back by me. And clearly the color is striking, and there's no question. Let me just help myself there. There we go. And that's amazing. Now, where did you find this car? What condition was it in originally? So, this car I found in Wisconsin. A local collector here had it for over 20 years and had done nothing with it. Prior to that, it went to Canada and was in uh, Nigel Mills camp. These people may recognize his name. Um, the collector that I won't name because he requested to stay anonymous. Yeah, sure. He, uh, he bought the car back in 1994 and then um, was going to work on it, had collected a lot of parts, and it just stopped. Uh, I was fortunate enough to buy the car three years ago, actually, on my, on my journey out here to Carlisle. And the restoration started immediately after that. And this is the end result of three years of a lot of work. So this is the first video of this car? This is the first video of this car. So welcome to the channel and if you're new to the channel subscribe to the channel and I hope you hit the like button because this one well it's a one of one now these posts are obviously custom made but that was very typical of the time frame because they were po they were you know uh, pinned to the hood and the whole hood would come up there was no uh, right the, the pins the, the pins you see the elevation stanchions are our uh, a gentleman on the, at the A12 forum makes them, and you'll see a lot of them around at various shows. It's more of a display option. They mm -hmm. really had nothing to do with the car originally. The hood was meant to be lifted off and set on the roof while you tuned the carbs and worked on it while you were racing. And there's no hubcaps. Why? Right. The car was built with the 15 by 6 H wheels because Dodge knew that people were going to lose the wheels and put racing wheels on the car. So one of the reasons that you have such a hard time finding original H wheels is most of them got taken off and thrown away to be replaced with drag radials and other aftermarket options. Let's uh, let's open up the truck, shall we? You bet. Now, did you always know you wanted a Super B? Um, or was it more that you saw this car and it kind of screamed, take me? Um, this is not my first A12 Super P, Lou. So, um, to know I wanted one was a uh, given. Uh, these are my passion. Uh, the fact that this car uh, crossed paths with me three years ago is just a little bit of luck of the draw. It was a lot of persistence on my part to, to acquire the car, but you know it was a very, uh, a very enjoyable restoration with my group of friends. Yeah. And uh, you know we are not a professional shop. We do this because we enjoy doing it. We're hobbyists. Yeah. Let's close that uh, trunk, please. And. Uh, the, po the folks at Carlisle, may I go inside here? Yes, you may. So the folks at Carlisle are actually closed off the, the area so we can video this car. So I want to thank them for that. And really, come out to Carlisle, see some just amazing cars. <laughs> this is just self-explanatory of what amazing looks like. And if you're a car fan, even maybe if you're not a car fan, I mean, what's the color here? This is F6 is the code. It's called Bright Green Metallic. It was Bright, a uh, mid-year release. Bright Green Metallic, a mid-year release. Just perfect. I mean, how did you feel when, what were some of the difficult parts for this car? Because this car is just so unique. So the most difficult part is what you're looking at, which is the vinyl top. Okay. Uh, there were only 26 of these made, Lou. 
which means there's no one jumping to reproduce the top right. because who was going to buy them? Um, when I bought this car, and one reason I did buy it was the fact that the owner had an original NOS piece of top to go with the car. Um, if something were to happen to this top, I don't know how to replace it. I, I don't know where I would get it. So it, uh, it truly is the showpiece of the vehicle, and it is the hardest piece to come by. It's just fortunate that this top was made it to this car, I believe, in 1991 already. Wow. Let's fire it up, shall we? for a second. Okay, thank you. Give it one good rev, would you? Darren, you know how to give it a good rev, that's for sure. Want another one? One more, sure. Awesome. All right, let's uh, close that down. <laughs> We're like seven-year-olds. Hold on just a second. You know, I don't know if I <laughs> featured the four-speed or not. Uh, and I want to make sure I get that four-speed like so before we finish up. Even like that little emblem there. Darren, what a treat bringing your car out. So much fun, so much dedication. Thanks for being dedicated to the hobby. Thanks for sharing your car. Thanks for being on my car stand. Yeah, you're welcome, Lou. Thanks for having me. So a little bonus footage. So Darren, show us what you just showed me. So Lou, this is a piece of the top that is installed on the car. There was a lot of material left over, but I made sure to save every stitch of it. Sure. Uh, the neat thing about this is yeah. it's NOS date coated material and people can see the manufacturer who did these tops, and you can see the date code. Even some of the yellowing. Yep. Well, the yellowing is from where they were spraying the glue on to put the roof on, and then they cut this off. Gotcha. But, so this is from Stauffer Chemical, dated March of 1969. Very cool. Guys, thanks for watching. Thank you, Darren. Yep, you're welcome.